Hi guys, so I'm a fan of the old school games and um, when I say old school it's for young people because old school was like modern day for me. Yeah, yeah I'm old. Back when men were men and floppies were floppies. That probably sounds really dirty. Anyway, to play those old games what you need to be using really is DOSBox. That just makes life so much easier. There's no point trying to get a lot of those old games running on Windows. Now DOSBox basically emulates an old PC. If you've never used it before, that's what it does. If you have used it before, hopefully this will obviously help you get a few things. Now the idea of this is just to help you set it up and to have it running nice and smoothly. So you're going to have to get it first. You have to get this file here, which is your installer for it. Now if you go to Google, there we go, helps to actually bring up the right page, um, and you just type in DOSBox, you're going to find this www.dosbox.com, in there click on the downloads and you'll find this Windows installer, that's all you need for that. I'm going to say the same thing that I always say when I tell people to get files off the internet, check it, don't take my word for it, don't take anyone else's word for it, if you've got any doubts, scan that shit. Right, okay, so once you've got that, you got a DOSBox installed, DOSBox, <laughs> that's easy for me to say. Um, you're gonna find it in this folder here. There we go, it's gonna be C drive, program files 86, DOSBox 0.74. Uh, you'll probably also find that you've got a, a file on the desktop there. Right, okay, so once you've got that, if you open it up, right, so there's a couple of things going on here that are probably gonna be different to what you see on yours. Firstly, you're going to see that my actual config file is somewhere nice and easy to access. So that's on my C drive, DOS, C drive games, dosbox.conf. You're also going to notice here that I automatically mount this. I haven't touched this. Automatically mounts up my C drive. Now the way DOSBox works is you need to mount a drive as your C or mount a folder as your C drive. And that's where you're going to work from with your commands and everything. I'll show you how to set all this up. So you're going to have to navigate to where this file here is. And you're also going to have to be able to see the hidden files on your computer. So if you go to view here and you go to options, and you go to view in there, you're going to want here your show hidden files and folders and drives. And I can't, didn't even read that, did I? I just said that off the top of my head. Right, okay. But show them, you'll be able to access that. And then you want to go and get whatever file that is. So it's going to be dosbox that's something dot com. And you're going to want to put it somewhere nice and easy for you to access. So I have mine in this C drive games that you've got here. So we've got dosbox.conf, there we go. Now what you have to do is set that up so that it actually does load its start off. So we're gonna have to do is open up your thing here, open up your shortcut, that's the word I'm looking for. At the end of that, at the end of this here, you're just gonna be looking for this very end. You wanna type in dash conf, so that's C-O-N-F, and then in double quotation marks, you wanna put in where you will find the comp file. So for me, C drive backslash games backslash dosbox 074comp Now what you can do is you can just sort of go onto this and you can go rename and just copy all that out there and put that at the end of whatever it is. So once you've done that, you should load up wherever your config file is there. You don't have to do that. If you don't have any intention of playing around your config files, you don't have to do it. But in the future, it may like make life a lot easier for you. and means you just don't have to navigate through a bazillion folders just to find your config file. Okay, so now once you've got that going, uh, you're going to want to actually change your settings a little bit. So if you go to your DOSBox directory, you want to open up this options file here. Now it won't look like this. So if you want to start up in full screen, you can set this to true. I personally wouldn't do it when you're setting it up, but you can do that. The big thing here is going to be your, your resolution. When you're playing your games, you want to have it at the sort of maximum resolution. So I always set mine to 1920 by 1080. It does mean the window's a little bit funky when you start it up, but that's fine. Um, so as you can see here, I just literally type in the number X, so the height by the, so the width by the height, 1920 X 1080. Now the big thing you're going to want to do here is change the output to D draw. So just type in literally D draw. Right, okay, so that should be your setup. Uh, just this is the actual, this is how I have my settings there. I'll put that in the description of the video if you just want to copy paste it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to automatically mount the folder. So if we go all the way down to the bottom of here, you're going to find this auto exec. And as you can see here, you just want to type in this. So that's mount space C space and then your drive. So mine, for example, is C drive games. Once you've done all that, save it. And once you open it up, you should see what you just saw there. 
So we should have your comp file should load up where you want it and it should automatically mount up wherever, whatever folder you've got your games in. At that point here, you're ready to actually run a game. Now what I've done there is I just pressed Alt Enter to actually bring it into full screen. If you have any problems actually getting it into full screen, one thing you might find is I'll just press Alt Enter there, is you might need to lock your mouse into it. As you see, my mouse is not locked in. If I press Control F10, my mouse is now locked into that window. Control F10 takes it away again. As I so Alt Enter, will go between full screen and windowed. Right, now when you want to load up a game here, I'll just do a demonstration here, just go C drive. So you want to go to your C drive. Now you want to find your game. So you're going to do a command which will show our directory by page, which is dir forward slash p. Do that. And that every time you press a, a, a key, that will go through that then. Um, and so, you, so you can see all your directories there. So for example, if I want to load up Canon Fodder 2, I'm going to go cd space. Now that will take me to a new directory. Canon 2. Right, that's loaded up my Canon 2 directory. I'm just going to dir forward slash p. And I want can2.exe. Now, not every game starts with an exe. And I'm going to show you a difference to that in a second. As you can see, every time I press enter here, it's going to bring up a new one. So let's do can2. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Now you also might find that some of these games you can't get out of them easily. So you just press Alt Enter to take it out of uh, full screen mode. And then you just close it down. Or you can press Alt plus F4. Right, okay, so let's load that up again. Can you tell I really like me old games? Or new games, from my perspective. Okay, right, let's go to C drive again. Now, we're going to see a couple of things here. So dir forward slash p. When you, load, when you put folders into this directory, you have to be careful because you can only have eight characters in a name. So anything that's more than eight characters will get shortened. So as you can see here, I had Settlers 2, but it's come as Settle Squiggle 1. I think that's Tilled Keep. We're going to Squiggle. Settle Squiggle 1. Um, now, if I had Settlers 3 and 4, which obviously would run on Windows anyway, but say I had those, you wouldn't be able to see which Settler it is. So just you just be aware you might want to actually change your directories around, change the actual name of directory where you put things. Um, now, you can access that directory. So I do CD space S-E-T-T-L-E -E, Squiggle 1. It's called Squiggle. I don't care what anyone else says. Now, if you want to come out of a directory, if you go into the wrong directory or something like that, Two options. First one is CD backslash. That will take you back to the C drive. Now there's actually two directories in here, as you see. So I've gone two directories in. If you just want to go back one directory, it's CD dot dot, and that will take you back a directory. Now not all of these actually use an EXE file, as I was saying. So I'm going to go into Command and Conquer. So I'm in Command and Conquer here. Now if I do dir forward slash p, you're not actually going to see an exe file in there. Some of them they do have custom file names. For example, I want cnc underscore en. That's just, just an example there of sometimes it's not an exe file. But those basically are the commands you need. So let's go to the backslash. If you wanted to mount a different file, go back into our z drive, it'd be mount c, and if I just did c drive backslash like that, so he says mount the C drive is not recommended, but for example, I could mount the C drive um, anyway. I, now, obviously, I've already mounted it up, so this doesn't count, but that's how you could do it. Um, some games do require you to mount in a certain way, in that you don't you you want to set up something to be a D drive, you want to set up something to be the, the, the CD ROM, or set it to not try and run the CD ROM. But those are very specific cases, and I don't really want to clog this video up with that. So as I said, it's mount C drive, and then it's just CD space. Uh, will take you into that directory. CD backslash will take you out of a directory. CD dot dot will take you back to the C drive. CD dot dot will take you back one directory. And DIR forward slash P will bring up everything. 
Right, guys, and that is how you get started on DOSBox, basically. Um, main reason I wanted to put this out there is that the DOS commands, you know, you might not know them off the top of your head. Makes life a little bit easier to be able to navigate around. Might not know how to do the config file and also how to get that resolution actually working for example if you don't set that resolution and do the d draw games just come up in a tiny little window now to give an example also another game with an awesome soundtrack if i go cd space jungle strike oops smooth now this is another awesome soundtrack i'm just saying Anyone who's over about 30, I have literally probably just thrown them back into the past right here. But as you can see, this is actually coming up full screen rather than it coming up in a tiny little window. Right guys, anyway. I hope you found that useful and yeah, I hope it helps you play old games, even if you're an old fart like me who's trying to relive their childhood or if you're a young fart who's trying to play old fart games. Anyway, hope you found it useful, hope you enjoy the games, catch you all soon, bye. So I'm sure we all know that YouTube has kind of screwed over us small creators at the moment. If you feel inclined to pressing that subscribe button, I will love your face so hard. So hard. Wait, that sounds wrong. Or does it sound right?